Hi everyone, this is Mr. Chang, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the repeat until loop in Lua. Previously, we learned about while loops. So we looked at the while true version of the while loop, counting up and counting down. And in this lesson, we're going to learn about the repeat until loop. Now, the repeat until loop is always guaranteed to loop at least once. And this is because in the repeat until loop, it checks the condition after the code between the repeat and until is executed. Now, unlike other loops, it repeats until the condition is true. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example here. So inside of Roblox Studio, let's go ahead and add a script. So let's go ahead and add a script here and take a look at our first example here. So let's go ahead and add in repeat until true with our currently our hello world over here. So again, at its most basic form, we've got repeat until true. So again, this loop repeats until the condition is true. Now this condition is true already. And when the script is executed over here again this is always executed once and then when it reaches this until true that's when it stops so that's why we have this message down here hello world because our script here executed once all right now we're going to look at another version of the repeat to loop using a stepper variable so let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So again, with the stepper variable with the condition, we have local x equal one. That's again, just like we've had with our while loops, we're initializing the stepper variable. Then we have a new keyword here. We've got repeat. Inside of the repeat until loop, we've got x equal to x plus one. And that's because we're counting up. You could also count down in other versions. And then we're going to repeat until x is greater than five. So let's try this example here. And so let me just go ahead here. I'm going to say example one and I'll add example one there. Let's say example two here, turn to example two here. And again, let's initialize our stepper variable. So we've got local x equal to one. We've got repeat. And let's print out the value of x. We have our stepper variable increments. And now we have our condition. So now we have x greater than 5. So let's go ahead and run our code here. So as we can see with our code, we've got, again, we're printing out, we're starting with 1. And so then we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. All right, so now let's kind of think about this situation here. What value of x is going to make our condition true? And again, when our condition is true, that is when our loop finally ends. So again, our condition here is x greater than 5. So what condition would x have to be in order to make this condition true? So that would be 6, because 6 is greater than 5. And finally, then our condition is true. Now let's do what we did before and trace how the stepper variable changes on each iteration through the loop. So again, we initially start with our stepper variable of x equal to one over here. And so then inside of our loop, we have our x equal to x plus one. So that's our two over there. The condition then, at the very end of the loop would be two greater than five, and that condition is false. All right, so at the start of the loop, again, we've got two. The value at the end of the loop would be three, because we're, again, we're incrementing here. We have a condition three greater than five, that is false. Okay, so we have, we go down to the third iteration, we have three. We are, again, adding one over here, so that's four. 4 greater than 5, that is false. Okay, so we go down here again, we've got 4, 
4 greater 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 greater than 5, that still falls. Okay, so we have 5 over here. And then, again, we get this step over here, x equals s plus 1, 5 becomes 6, and 6 greater than 5. And that's finally when our condition is true, and that is where our loop finally ends. All right, now, let's go ahead and try a coding example. And again, we're going to take advantage of our stepper variable here, and we're going to create fire and smoke that increase over time. So let's go ahead and inside of our Roblox Studio here, let's go ahead and add a ball. Add a ball over here, moves over here. And let's go ahead and rename our part. And rename our part ball. And then we're going to add a script here. And let's go ahead and add some code. So we've got local part equal workspace dot ball. And then we're going to add a new instance of smoke. So smoke is one of these several particle emitting classes. And then we're going to parent the smoke to the part. So let's go ahead and say local smoke equal instance dot new. We're going to add smoke here. Then we're going to have smoke parent, we're going to parent it to the part over here. And now again, we're going to take advantage of our stepper variable to make it increase over, make our smoke size increase over time. So I have smoke dot size equal x, which is our stepper variable. Again, we, we do need to delay it a little bit. So I, I'm adding a weight of one. We're going to increment our stepper variable by one. And again, we're going to use that x greater than 5 condition over there. So let's go ahead and run our code and see what happens here. So as we can see, our smoke is increasing as time is increasing. And we just increase the size of our smoke to 5. All right, now let's add something also kind of interesting here. Let's go ahead and add some fire to our smoke. So it's, we're kind of making a fireball here. So let's add smoke. Sorry, let's add some, move that up a little over here. And let's add some fire. And so let's also parent that to the same part. We have fire. Oops. It's part. So we're parenting both smoke and fire both to the same parts. And just like we did over here, we're going to increase the fire size to that value of x with our stepper variable. And let's go ahead and run it. And we'll see here that over time, our fireball is increasing. So our fire is getting bigger. Our smoke is increasing. It's having a bit of fun here. Now, let's try one last thing here per what we have done before with our vector 3. Let's go ahead and make our fireball move. So let's try part position and we'll make it kind of roll along with our Z value. So this is gonna this is gonna make it kind of roll along. And let's increase that from five and let's make that 20 and see what happens here. So we're going to watch our fireball kind of like move along here. And as we can see, it's kind of chugging along 
getting bigger and bigger and it's getting bigger and a little scarier and bigger and bigger and I should probably move away because the fire is getting quite big. All right, so again, this is an example of a repeat until loop and taking advantage of that stepper variable, which in our case, the way we constructed it is increasing. All right, I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video.